Hi everybody! So I want to introduce to you the latest addition to our Opry family, our air gel machine. This is a portable rechargeable airbrush machine that uses the latest in gel technology and we're going to show you how to use it shortly. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about this machine. This one takes a normal air compressor um, and minimizes it into a tiny little portion like this. And then underneath, there's a lithium battery here that provides you with 40 minutes of usage time. And it only takes three hours for a full charge. Here's where you charge it in. You, there's a charger that, is, that comes with the kit. And all you have to do is plug it in and you can charge it. You'll see a blue light here that flashes when it's charging. And when you're done, that's all you need to do. Here's the power button. You press it to turn it on, and there's two modes. One is a stronger mode, one is a lower mode, and then you press it a third time and it turns off. Here is our air gel machine head. This is a super premium stainless steel made in Germany head. The difference between this and other brands of airbrush head is that this one is specially formulated for our brand of air gel. It prevents the air gel from clogging um, and it's a very simplified machine which means that cleaning is extremely easy with this machine. Uh, we'll go through how to clean this in a future video but just for you to use it all you have to do is screw on the machine, screw on the head, onto the machine and you're done. Hello? Make sure it's tight and sorry, this way, and you're done. Here's the trigger that you pull back. You'll notice how smooth that is. And this is where you would drop in your air gel. Make sure to just drop in a small amount every time. Um, a little bit of air gel goes a long way. How you use it is you turn on the power button, and what you want to do is you want to, with your index finger, push down first and then pull back. If you don't push down and you just simply pull back, you're not gonna get that airflow. So you wanna push forward and then pull back and you'll notice your airflow depending on how, how much you pull back on the trigger. So it's a very, very simple machine to use, to clean. Um, you'll notice that you can get, get a lot of great effects with it. We'll teach you a lot of different techniques, how to do straight lines, how to use stencils, how to do a lot of different like floral patterns. After you're done, turn it off and you're ready to go. You wanna make sure to pr always protect the tip. That's always the most important part of this machine. Um, in a later video, we'll show you guys how to take it apart to clean it. It's very, very simple. Um, we wanted to simplify this airbrush head for you guys so it's not a pain in the butt to, to clean because that's always the most difficult part of the airbrush. The best thing about our air gel technology is that the gel is UV and LED cure, which means that it won't dry in your airbrush machine. That's the number one reason of clogging is that acrylic paint gets clogged, it gets dried because it reacts with the air. It dries inside inside the cup, it dries with the nozzle, it dries inside where the needle is, and that's where you get the clogging. And then so with every color that you use, you have to unscrew the head, you have to take out the needle from, from the back, all those different things that you have to do to clean this machine. With gel technology, all of that is reduced into something that's extremely simple and extremely easy to use. So here we're gonna show you how to do some designs um, on, on our Gel-X tips. So we're gonna show you an ombre effect and how to use it, do it with our air gel. So what you wanna do is after you apply your first layer of gel color, you wanna go ahead and apply our base coat. So this is our base gel coat. It is specially formulated to be used with our air gel. You wanna make sure to use this base coat because the air gel is a very, very thin cons consistency. So without the base coat, they might not grip as well to nail polish, to nail extensions, to natural nails. So typically with our Gel-X extensions, we don't recommend um, using base coat because it's not necessary. The tips are made out of soft gel. All you have to do is wipe it off with some acetone 
and you can go ahead and apply your gel color without using base coat. But with the air gel, it's a little bit different. You wanna make sure to use the base coat and you wanna make sure that you wrap around all of the edges. Some of the chipping or the fading that you're gonna see with the air gel sometimes, it's mostly gonna be from the sides. So it's just natural wear and tear. Thank and then you. now you wanna cure for 30 seconds in LED light. So we're gonna show you an ombre technique using um, a specially colored mix that we just did. The air gel is a very thin viscosity spray gel. So you can mix it with other colors of air gel and create your own custom color. So here we mixed a little bit of the black air gel and a little bit of the blue air gel. And so actually these are part of, or the black is part of set B, the blue is part of set A. So if you are amongst the ones who did purchase the entire set, um, then you'll have both of these colors available. We're gonna do a reverse ombre. We're gonna start from around the cuticle area and work our way down. And notice how fine the particles are when, they, when they're dispersed. This is how good our airbrush head is. This is a 0.25 millimeter nozzle head size. And you're able to, to spray out very, very fine, very fine details with this head. The quality of your airbrush head can be defined by how large the particles. Actually, it has something to do with also the air gel formulation as well. But you want to make sure that your particles that are sprayed out are not very large and not very visible at all. That way you get that very beautiful ombre gradient effect. And since this is gel, you need to cure it in the light and you want to go layer by layer. You don't want to do one thick layer fully saturated of, of color you want to layer it on. So if you don't think the first layer is enough color, after you cure it, do another thin layer. So it's similar, it's, it's just like applying gel polish. You want to do the first layer, second layer, third layer, depending on how saturated you want, you want your color to be. So this is our second layer. And you'll notice that the color is starting to get darker as we're laying on the color layer by layer. Make sure with the airbrush head that you're pushing forward and then pulling the trigger back. If you just simply pull the trigger back, you're not gonna get the airflow. Look how gorgeous that color is. Look how gorgeous that gradient is. And we're gonna cure that layer. So after you're done with your ombre, you want to slowly remove the protective peel. And you have to keep in mind that the air gel is extremely thin. The layers are really, really thin. That means they're, they're sort of fragile, so you don't want to touch the, the, your, your nail right now. If you touch it, the layer might get disturbed and you might see peeling. So you need to make sure that you top coat the entire thing before you, before you touch your nails. So you want to peel it off very gently. You don't necessarily have to use this tape. You can use um, any other type of like masking liquid that you prefer to protect your skin. A lot of people are asking how to clean it off of your skin. If it does cure onto the skin, the good thing about, about the air gel is that it's very thin. So in essence, just kind of clean it off the skin and because it's so thin of a layer, it'll come off. Or you can also clean it with a cotton swab um, or brush with some acetone. So 
So the top coat is extremely important. It protects your entire design. You want to do a nice even layer and make sure to wrap around all of the edges. And here's the finished product. Isn't that just gorgeous? Do you see how fine that mist is, those splatters? Do you see how fine those particles are? Super gorgeous color. So this is a reverse ombre.